This tutorial shows how to generate PWM using pulse width modulation module of TM4C123 microcontroller. For demonstration purposes, we will use TM4C123 Tiva launchpad which comes with TM4C123 GH6 PM microcontroller. TM4C123 microcontroller has two PWM blocks such as PWM0 and PWM1. Further, each PWM block contains four PWM generators and control blocks. Additionally, each PWM generator provides two PWM outputs such as PWMA and PWMB. But these two PWM signals shares the frequency or counter blocks. Hence, two PWM outputs from the same generator will have same frequency, but can have different duty cycle. TM4C123 microcontroller supports total of 16 PWM outputs. Now let's see an example code to generate PWM with TM4C123 microcontroller. We will generate a 50 Hz PWM signal with a variable duty cycle with PWM1 module. Furthermore, in PWM1 module, we will use PWM channel 6 of generator 3. And the counter will be used in down count mode to know more about PWM modules of TM4C123, check the link given in the description of this video. Now let's take an example. This example code generates 50 Hz and variable duty cycle PWM signal on PF2 of TM4C123 Tiva launchpad. PF2 pin of TM4C123 GH6 PM microcontroller is connected with onboard blue LED. Hence, LED light intensity varies according to the duty cycle of PWM output signal. When the duty cycle is minimum, LED does not glow at all. After that, LED light intensity increases with the increase in the duty cycle of pulse width modulation signal. We will also use an oscilloscope to see the output waveform. Now let's see how the code works. First to configure PWM module, enable system clock to PWM module using RCGC PWM register. This line enables the system clock of 16 MHz to PWM1 module. After that, enable the system clock to GPIO port, through which PWM output appears, using RCGC GPIO register. This line enables system clock to port F run mode clock configuration, RCC register is used to scale down frequency for PWM modules. But the question is why do we need to scale down frequency? Because sometimes we need to generate a low frequency PWM. If PWM generators operate at higher operating frequency, we will not be able to get low frequency PWM. RCC register acts as a divider between system clock frequency and input frequency to PWM modules. The clock divisor options can be selected with bit 20 and bits 19 to 17 of RCC register. The bit 20 selects either we want to use direct system frequency or pass it through a frequency divisor. Setting bit 20 to 1 selects the frequency divisor option. The bits 19 to 17 selects the divided by options from 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. We want to generate 50 Hz PWM signal, therefore, we enabled this option. This line selects pre-divider value of 64, and after that feed clock to PWM1 module. These lines set the GPIO pin PF2, as a digital output pin. And select its alternate function for PWM module and assign PWM channel 6 output to PF2 pin. Before configuration, 
Disable PWM generator counter by clearing bit D0 of PWM CTL register. After that, select the PWM generator counter in down count mode, by clearing bit 1 of PWM CTL register. After that, select the actions of output signal when counter reloaded, or counter matches with compare register. This line sets PWM output when counter reloaded, and clear when matches with compare register. After that, load value of 5000 to PWM load register. It will set the frequency of PWM signal to 50 Hz. Now, setting compare register value to 4999, will set the duty cycle to minimum value. If you want to know how to calculate these value, check the link given in the description of the video. Finally, enable the PWM generator 3 counter. And enable the PWM channel 6 output. Inside the while loop we are updating value of compare register with increasing order of duty cycle now upload the code to TM4C123TIVA launchpad. As you can see the width of PWM signal is increasing. Also the LED intensity increasing with the increase of duty cycle of PWM signal. This is how we can generate PWM using Tiva Launchpad. For all resources of this project, check the link given in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time with another video.